Donna's three minute leadership nugget. Today I come to you with Nehemiah 2. In Nehemiah 2, he's talking about how Jerusalem lies in waste. It has been burned. He says, the place of my father's basically legacy has been laid in waste. And so he comes to God in 2.12 and he asks for vision because he knew that there was an issue. And so I just want to encourage you guys because as you're doing um, whatever challenge it is that you set out to do, you've got an issue that you're trying to solve, but you cannot solve this problem on your own. And same goes for whether it's you, your household, your city, your community, your state, or this nation. We cannot solve any of these issues. Let's go grand on this in our nation without seeking the Lord and waiting to hear from him. So Nehemiah already knew that there was a serious issue of Jerusalem laid to waste, on fire, ruined, but he, instead of being weary with it, and maybe he was weary, you know, but he decided to not lather in weariness. He knew that he could, he was to be a true leadership servant and be able to change, not something for his own agenda, but something to better the community, to better his people. And so he knew that he could do that with the Lord's vision. He knows where vision comes from. He knows it's from the Lord. He knows that whenever he's going through an issue, so I just want to remind you of this, every new issue comes. I mean, his mercies are new every day, but let's be real. You might also have, you feel like you have some issues every day, new ones that come up, but you're never ever without a problem solver who's there to help you. Just ask Holy Spirit to give you vision of how to solve this new problem. And so that's where the success lies because it's not an issue that he is without absolute success in, but we've got to go to the one and be patient for the answer. And that's what Nehemiah did. And he set forth to rebuild and um, absolutely bring success because he was a builder with the vision of God. So I hope this encourages somebody today because no matter what you're doing, you can rebuild and refocus with the vision from God.